A Richland Township man who was charged with ripping off his aunt pled guilty to reduce charges in Cambria County Court. Robert Vasilinda entered a plea deal to a lower charge of writing bad checks after police say he took control of his deceased relative's assets from July to September of 2013. He'll be sentenced May 26th. For 60 years now, the Grampian Penn Bloom Volunteer Fire Department has been serving the community, but now with the threat of Penn and Bloom Townships withdrawing financial support, it could force the Volunteer Fire Department to close. Devin Clark spoke with the fire chief about what action they can take to keep the department from going. Devin? Yeah, that's right, Jen. The last thing the fire chief says he wants to see is the fire department be forced to close down. But at the same time, he tells me that he does understand some of the concerns that certain township officials have. With that being said, now they've created an advisory committee to hopefully help patch things up. For six decades, the Grampian Pen Bloom Volunteer Fire Department has been a pillar in this community. It's nice to have someone right here in case something would happen. But the new fire chief, Nick Selner, says at the beginning of March, Pen and Bloom Township officials sent letters stating the townships were planning to withdraw funding, which left the future of the Volunteer Fire Department smoky. They were just uh, termination letters uh, stating that they were um, going to find other, you know, um, departments to provide fire protection. Fire Chief Selner says the letters came as the result of several issues, some surrounding spending that was unaccounted for and leadership roles within the department. I was the, the president and then okay. I resigned um, okay. and that was actually one of the issues they had was I held both positions. And, uh, it was a lot of power for one person, you know, a lot of responsibility. In another effort to address the township's concerns, Selner says the firefighters have come up with a new advisory committee. I'll tell you, they've been a huge help, and uh, it's been a good thing. The committee includes past fire chiefs, who Selner says will work with municipal leaders to see that all the issues are addressed. People who rely on the fire department for protection hope that those issues get resolved. Because, like, if Carvinsville or somewhere else would have to come up on the scene, I would think a lot of the houses would be a loss by the time they would get there. Now, there's no word right now on what alternative township officials have if that fire department were to close. I was unable to get a comment from them today. However, on April 7th at 3 o'clock, Penn Township will be having a meeting to address this issue, and Bloom Township will have a similar meeting at 7 o'clock. For now, reporting live from the Clayfield County Newsroom, Devin Clark, 6 News.